Hey y'all, we are going to talk through again how to kind of start your comic strip project. Um, we talked about it a little bit in class, but if you get stuck or maybe you are absent, you'll know um, kind of how to finish this first part of the project. And then I think once you get that finished, um, going from there will be quite easily. So um, first, your homework was to find that one window of the comic um, that you wanted to recreate by um, enlarging it by a scale factor. Um, once you have done that, now we're going to look at day one. What does it mean? What do we need to do um, in the next step to start our project? So we're going to grid our comic strip window by a fourth of an inch blocks, and I'll show you a very simple way to do that if you have graph paper or if you got graph paper from me. Um, and make sure you use a ruler just because um, being really neat with this project is going to be very helpful um, when you are making your new comic. So first things first, I need to make sure that I find a comic. And um, if I go back and show you, here is my entire comic, but I'm just wanting to pick one window that I want. Make sure that your window that you pick, as well as, so your original and your final, um, both have to be in color. So this comic that you print out and cut, if it's in black and white and then you pick color or draw your final in color, that isn't going to give you the most points. So um, you're going to pick a comic or a comic window that you want. And then the next step is what we talked about in class. You are actually going to paste it to a graph paper. Now, this little grid right here, to make things easy, you want it to be a fourth of an inch by a fourth of an inch. Um, that will allow your scale factor to be really, really simple. So what I have done is I tried to not, I didn't put my comic in the corner, but I pasted my comic so that my corner of my comic was actually the corner of one of those grids. Some of the time you will be um, perfectly fit um, from corner to corner. Some of you might actually come out into this next box which is perfectly fine so um, just match it up however you want um, and we're doing this because then I want you to take a ruler and with your, with your ruler I want you to lay it on top of your comic and I want you to match up this line with your ruler to this bottom line of, with your ruler and then what you're going to do is you're just going to connect and pretty much draw the graph that's below your comic right on top of your comic. Um, this will be a lot more accurate than trying to measure out a fourth of an inch by a fourth of an inch and then connecting the dots and things like that. So if you understand, I'm just going to continue down all the way through my comic. And then I'm going to connect um, these sides as well, just so again, it's making that um, fourth of an inch grid on top of my comic. And if you notice, I was a little off on that one, so you need to make sure that um, I would suggest draw lightly on top of your comic and take your time because if you get off just a little bit, it's going to make a really big difference. Um, and I want to make sure that you get all of your points necessary. So again, that is step one of your comic project so uh, after you get that you can continue with day two if you want to um, we'll also talk in class as well so hope this information helps and um, good luck on your project thanks